Hi, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist. I'm going to show you how I create personalized characters in the Beyond Animation Studio. So let's get started. First, we're going to go up to the right hand side and select make a video. And there's a contemporary business and whiteboard animation style. I prefer the business friendly. I think the graphics are much better. So I'm going to select that. We're going to give it a few moments to load. All right, so it's going to load this opening template, which is normal. Now I'm going to go over to the left hand side and select the character icon. And then I'm going to select the create new character where that little plus sign is. I'm going to hit save and go because it's going to take us out of the animation portion over to the character creator. And because I'm using business friendly, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the business friendly style character although I could do a whiteboard animation. Here's when we select whether we want a male or female silhouette. Today I'm going to select male. And then we have multiple body types. We can have very slender, uh, more of a thin build. Then we have more of a medium to large. And then we have a child size. Today I think I'm just going to go with that second one. And so this is the stock character that comes up. I'm going to start honestly by removing the hair. So over on the right hand side, you can select face, hair, mouth, ears, eyes, eyebrows, and nose. Um, and you can remove everything by selecting remove on the far, far right. So I'm gonna remove the hair. Uh, I do that just because I like to be able to see my options for the face shape and I think it's a little bit harder to see what the face shape options are when the hair is on there. So I'm gonna select a face and these are the options they have for men. So we have a bearded or five o'clock shadow look. We have a full beard. And then we've got a Santa Claus beard look here. <laughs> that really is a Santa Claus look. So we have different face shapes. I'm going to, I think, go for something a little more oval. I think this one is good. And I'm going to come hit that back button. The next to face, there's a little... Um, dot here or tan square but this is the the skin color so I'm going to select that and it allows me now to change the skin tones the thing about this skin tone selector is you kind of have to be a little bit careful because you can just drag and drag and you might want to go darker but then it winds up looking redder like it is now and you can go down and it can get too dark on you or the shades can be a little bit weird or it could be too yellowed. So you just wanna be careful with this selector over here because you can easily get off track. So I always go back to one of the suggested flesh tones and then lighten it up as I would prefer. All right. There we go. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. So the thing about selecting skin tone that you want to keep in mind is you want something that's going to contrast on the background. So if you have an idea of what you want your background to be and the other features that you're putting on, you just want to make sure it's not too light on a light background or too dark on a dark background where the character's features don't pop out. So you always want to think about that. Now we're going to go over to the mouth. When you select mouth, you have different mouths that you can choose from. Um, they have the teeth, which I'm not a fan of, the side smile, and then we have like those straight lines for faces, I mean for mouths. I prefer a full lip, but they don't really have the same features for the mouth on the male side that they do on the female side. So I think I'm just gonna go with this wide smile here. And then we're going to hit that back button when we're finished selecting the mouth. And like if this was on the women's character side, there would be a color button here where you could select the lipstick color. Now we're going to select the ears. I'm not necessarily invested in what type of ears the men have. So I'm just going to stick with the standard issue because I think that's fine. I, mean, I don't feel like I need to have a pierced male in here. So we'll go back. Now we're going to select from the eyes eyes they have a couple options and i think they're you know they're really cartoonish so some of them don't necessarily have a human look depending on which one you select so <laughs> that was the evil eyes 
in the large eyes. So I like the ones at the bottom where you can actually have an eye color. So I'll go for this one. It's got a hooded lid. And next to the eye, of course, we have a box for eye color. And today we're just going to select a green just because we can just show what it does. I like the presets. Sometimes I do change it, but the presets are pretty nice. Now we're going to go down one more and select eyebrow. And there are multiple eyebrow shapes. I think I'm going to go with the super full ones today. I don't normally use those. and I don't really like them. But eh, I think I will be adventurous and try something new. So we'll go for the full eyebrows. And of course you could change the color. I'm going to leave it at black though. Go back. All right. Now we have a selection of noses to choose from. And there are different shapes that you can go with. I'm going to go for probably this one here on the right. You want to make sure when you're selecting a nose that you're take, paying attention to the proportion of the nose in relation to any eyewear if you want to select it. So here at the very bottom, there's an eyewear selector. And so if I was to choose these larger glasses, you see how they're put right on top of the nose. So we definitely don't want to do that if we don't have to. So I'm going to skip the eyewear for today, but it is something to take into consideration if you're going to put eyewear that the nose falls up under the eyewear so that it's not sitting right on top. So we'll go out, we'll hit that back button, and we will we'll remove the eyewear. You can also change the color of the eyewear down here as well. And now that I have the, the basics of my face together, I think now is when I'm going to select the hair. And to me, hair is a little bit tricky. I, I have to put them on to see what they look like because I don't think the picture on the side really gives an idea of what the hair <laughs> really looks like. Um, and then, of course, some of the the uh, hair options do come have the hat accessories that you cannot remove. So if you like the hair, do you have to go with the hat that's associated with it? So we're just going to keep scrolling and you can see that the hair can dramatically change the look of the person. So you want to be careful in the hair selection. And some of these hairstyles are the same for women. So you want to kind of be more cautious about the type of hair that you select. If you're trying to be more specific, I think I'm going to go on this one. I'm going to keep it interesting. <laughs> And I'm going to try the mohawk. I have never done this before. Now that I've done the mohawk, I think I'm going to go back and do a pierced ear. Just because I feel like I've taken such a bold move with the hairdo. I have never used this before. <laughs> okay, so this is the face section on the right side. Right next to the head portion, there's the torso. And it says top, there are 228 options. So I'm just going to select this. And we have two things. We can uh, change his attire and we can also change the hand shape. I'm going to start by clicking on the hand shape just so you can see what options we have. So we have like a glove that we can apply. We have like a skeleton glove. Um, so you can see that it's really weird. I'm not quite sure. I think that's like a superhero hand. I think that's what the rest of these are. I'm just going to go with the standard human hands. I'm just, I'm not going to be super adventurous. Now this is where I think I have the most fun is with the tops. So we're going to select the top and decide what our character is wearing. Now that he has pierced ears and a mohawk, I think I'm going to get rid of the suit and try something. Now what's interesting is you can select um, a thin silhouette and then you can still put a top on them that's a little bit heavier so I think that's interesting that it in my opinion doesn't really match the body type but that is something it will allow you to do you can go super muscular on this one with pecs and everything or you can go for more of a swimmer's body there are a number of things that you can put on it looks like a bloody outfit here like a construction worker we have outer jackets we have superhero wear 
actually i think i like the superhero a little bit i've never used a superhero but i think i like this one i think i'm going to be a little bit daring today but they do have a number of selections so now i'm going to hit the back button because i'm happy with the top i selected but here on the right you can select colors now in this particular one there are two major colors on the torso and so i can change the color of each so wherever i see red i can substitute it and i'm going to go with green okay i thought that's where i was going to see red but apparently it's where i see the black and i substitute it with green and actually and then the second one is color number two and now you can select the second color so i think i'm gonna go with an even darker shade of green so i think i'm doing a green on green I don't know I'm not into superheroes like that so I'm not sure if this is what a superhero would wear but it's okay Ooh, I guess he'll be the green hornet I think <laughs> I don't know anyway so now I'm gonna go back up to the little icons and I'm gonna select the bottom on the right and then I have an option of changing the bottom uh, the legs or the feet I'm gonna start with the feet because he's wearing superhero clothes I think I'm gonna put him in some interesting cleats okay I think I will try this one and we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back up to where it says bottom and we're gonna select some pants now the pants are a little bit interesting because a lot of them don't have like flesh tone legs some of them it's like multiple layers so let's, let's look at this for a second so like this particular one here it's like they're I'm not sure if that's hairy legs or dirty legs. I don't know what's going on with that one and this one here as well it's like you have the fitted pants and then you have this black thing at the bottom which i'm not sure if it's a sock and if it is a sock it might not go with the shoes that you want to wear so you want to just make sure you have a look for, uh, have a feel for how it's going to look once you put it together i think i'm going to keep it basic with the pants and go with the the black i don't know I don't know, I think my superhero needs some fashion advice. I'm not the best at the pants. Like I can select the pants, but nine times out of 10, I think I just don't like the shape of the leg. So to me, it almost doesn't matter what shape of bottoms I put on them. I'm not crazy about it, but I am gonna take this to a much darker color on the bottom. And now I'm gonna go to the accessories. So I can add an accessory on the right. That's what that little hat icon is. And there are 82 things. So we can do something interesting like a mustache, which, you know, that's the other thing. If you're going to put a thin mouth, you don't really want to put a mustache this full on a thin mouth. <laughs> um, it's looking kind of crazy with this. But it's just to give you an idea of the types of things that are in here. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use that one. Well, so we have a goatee. Now this one is interesting. <laughs> we have one that's a little bit more, eh, a little more rect um, triangular. Oh, oh, he can wear a mask. That's cool. I didn't even know they had eye mask. I don't really use a lot of accessories when I'm, I'm designing. I like to keep mine open, probably because I wear glasses and my character wears glasses. So I don't want to do too much. And apparently you can only have one accessory at a time. So we can go with a full beard or a soul patch. Oh, no. Okay, we have a Corona mask. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. I think I'm going to go back to the eye mask just because I really did like that. And once I've done that, I can hit save. And it's going to save this particular character. And so now I can go back to the Vion Studio or I can create another character, but I'm going to go back to the Vion Studio. And this is going to allow me to insert this character in whatever template I'm using. All right, so now we're in a business friendly blank file. I'm going to delete. I'm going to, I right clicked on my mouse and then I hit delete. And now I'm going to add a scene. I'm choosing a template and there is a superhero section. So I'm going to scroll to the right 
And since I have this amazingly dressed character, I am going to put him in some sort of scene. So let's see. Now in this particular case, because I'm not animating a whole story, I'm just going to do a basic, I think I like this template. I'm gonna do a very basic one. All right, so I'm going to select the character that's already there, right click, hit replace, that's down at the bottom, right above delete. And then you'll see that the character popped up automatically on the left hand side and I'm going to select my first character and there he is. So now I get all the animations that the previous character had and all I had to do was just plug and play with the character that I've defined. Now this box over here is uh, referring to Sally. And since I have a male character, I'm just going to right click and delete these extra boxes because I don't need them. And I'm just going to, I don't even have a name for my character. I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm just going to put super, I don't know, I guess I'll just put Superman, keep it simple. <laughs> I'm not reinventing the wheel. I probably should have named the character if I was going to come up with one, but that's okay. And I'm going to go back and delete this blank slide. And now I'm going to just hit the preview just so you can see if there's any animation, what it automatically is going to do to that character. Although I don't know that this template is animated. Oh, okay. So he does slide in. All right. So at this point I could go in and then actually add an audio to my character. So I hit that preview and it allowed me to see what animations were there. And so I think that's pretty nice. We can also, I'm just going to do one more template just so you can have an idea of what you can do with your superheroes. So I selected this other superhero character. I'm going to right click, hit that replace, go to my character bank or character library. I select the first one. It's untitled because I didn't name it. And once he's in there, I'm going to hit the preview up on the right hand side just so I can see what I've done to my character. Oh, that's really nice. Some of the clouds just parted. Oh, he looks intimidating. All right. So that's basically how you create a character in Vion. There are a number of options that you can use. And I personally recommend personalizing your character for your liking for whatever type of animated project you're going to do. Thank you for joining Danielle, the domestic scientist.